In this video, which covers sections 105 and 106 of Hansen and Quinn's Greek and Intensive course, we're going to talk about even more case uses. Actually, the only real new one is the accusative of respect, but section 106 also makes sure that you can see how that relates to the dative of respect. And both of these sections are in Hansen and Quinn on page 380. The accusative of respect simply tells you in what respect or limited to what issue a particular thing is true. So for example, psychein men kalos hosokrates soma de iskros means in soul Socrates is beautiful, but in body he is ugly. So psychein and soma in the accusative case limit the extent to which each of these statements on either side of the men and the da are true. So Socrates is beautiful, but only in respect to his soul, only to that limitation. And he's ugly, but only in respect to his body with that limitation. So accusative of respect is a limiting function of a case. Agathos machen Hutos hostratiotes shows you this again. Here, in respect to battle, the soldier is good. We're not going to make any claims about other respects in which he is good or bad. We're not talking about whether he's a good cook or anything like that, but he is good in battle. And so the accusative respect limits what we're talking about when we're making this statement. And really, this overlaps mostly with the dative of respect. And you're going to translate these things exactly the same way. So you saw when we learned the dative of respect, to men somati kalos ho neanias, teda psuche kakos, very similar to our Socrates sentence. In body, the young man is beautiful, but in soul, he is evil. Here, if you want to think about the difference between the two cases, you can think of dative in a more instrumental way. That is, when you're using this measure or that measure, then this statement is true. Whereas in the accusative of respect, as we said, it's limiting to a particular thing. But as you can see in English, we express both things in pretty much the same way. And that's what you need to know about the accusative of respect and how it relates to the dative of respect.